So, um, just for the hell of it, I thought I'd talk about this idea I always had for Suicide Squad. Um, that I kind of always, if I could ever get into comics, this is the kind of the idea I'd like to do. Assuming, of course, I actually can do it because, you know, there are rules when you join the big two. Um, but anyway, yeah. So this is kind of a fun idea I had, and maybe I'll do it in form of fan fiction of some sort. But this is my idea for a suicide, uh, for Suicide Squad. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, it's going to be like a big crossover video. Nope, this is going to be a in-universe story that I've always had in mind. And it's not going to have any crossover characters. It's just going to be like kind of like my own take of Suicide Squad um, re after Rebirth. Right? At, like this would be my take on Suicide Squad um, after you know, right as Rebirth started. Like this would be the my take on Suicide Squad Rebirth. That would be the, you know that would be my take. Um, anyway. So the idea is pretty much that the that um, Argus is now under uh, new control. It is now under new jurisdiction um, by Michael Holt, aka um, Mr. Terrific. And what has happened is that Holt has taken over Argus by government order after the the government suddenly discovered that Waller has done some really shitty things behind their back and used the Suicide Squad to her own you to her own purposes, has used them to kill hundreds of innocent people, and they're like, no, no, we can't do this no more. <laughs> Mostly because if the people find out and get tr and it gets traced back to us, we're screwed um, by, you know, international. we're internationally fucked if the anyone finds out that this can be traced back to us. You know, not so much goodness of their heart, more like, we don't need the bad PR internationally. Any, we don't need the backlash. So yeah, ba so yeah, Waller's out, Holt is in, and but however, before they could arrest um, Waller for all of her actions and put her on trial, because yeah, she did some sneaky shit behind her, their back that um, really, um, you know, <laughs> that really just would have pissed off the government multiple times, especially apparently in New Fifty Two era Suicide Squad. They she did some really just messed up things behind the government's back, and uh, they're on their dime. So they want to, you know, take her off the board. Uh, but however, Waller has escaped with the, I would have it that it's, yeah, the, mo the movie lineup, uh, just like in Suicide Squad Rebirth, that yeah, it's, it, if, you, <laughs> if you've seen the comic, then yeah, it's the movie lineup of um, the Suicide Squad, and she's taken them to be her bodyguards, because yeah, they still have the bombs in their heads, so they still have to follow her orders. So yeah, the Suicide Squad is now being forced to guard a now renegade Amanda Waller, um, and Holtz, one of Holtz's first mission is go find her, kill her if you need to, kill her, kill her team if you need to, but point being, stop her ass. <laughs> so this, is, so Holtz's Suicide Squad would be much different. Holt, um, Holtz, uh, yeah, Mike, Mr. Terrific's uh, Suicide Squad would be much different. But you're probably wondering, well, would he use the bombs in, in their heads? Would he actually, you know, go about using, you know, the bombs and the brains and all that? No. Holt would actually, uh, yeah, <laughs> Ter Mr. Terrific wouldn't do uh, do what Waller does. He wants to change Argus, but he would still use supervillains. But however, rather than just use irredeemable psychopaths, he would depend on villains that he can see, and, and villains and anti-heroes that he could see, you know, changing their life around or needing something that he has, you know, the, with his res Now that he has Argus and he's the third smartest man in the world, you know, there's some resources that some villains would want. And I think, yeah, and Mr. Terrific would really play that up. So yeah, the team would be, instead of, you know, to replace Rick Flagg, I would have it that, yeah, Mr. Terrific calls in a uh, grifter. So, it, again, <laughs> that wouldn't happen because, you know, Wildstorm um, is now part, is, no, is now back to being its own universe. But yeah, if I could, I would have it that it would be grifter as, uh, grifter would be, uh, would be like the replacement for Rick Flagg. But yeah, <laughs> if I couldn't, you know, since I can't use him, I would use, um, 
Actually, I would I would really have Sergeant Rock on here. Like Sergeant Rock would also be if you guys remember Sergeant Rock was a World War II character for DC. He existed a lot in the DC universe. He did a lot of stuff. He even was a part of Argus for a time. So I would have him in here. Not so much the Rick Flag character, but maybe one of the other staff members of Argus. Um, but anyway, so uh, yeah, I would have it as like he's an probably I would probably have him as the advisor to um, Argus, like the military advisor. But to replace uh, Grifter, since I can't use him, I would probably use, I don't know, um, I don't know if I could use Omac, honestly. I, yeah, I don't think I could use Omac, but yeah. I w <laughs> this team kind of got messed up a bit, uh, you know, since I'm following the rules of Rebirth. But I will tell you some of the members I did think of, like, first and foremost, when I was kind of uh, thinking of this idea. Those being... Um, the ideas being that one of the members would be Jinx. And you're probably thinking, oh, DC Universe Jinx. She showed up in Titans. Actually, I would have it that this would be more akin to the animated series Jinx. This would be the Jinx from the Teen Titans animated series, but now she makes her debut in the DC Universe. You're probably wondering, well, that doesn't make sense. There's already a... Um, there's already a Jinx in this universe. Why have that Jinx? Because, let's face it, that character's, you know, Jinx was a lot more popular because of the show than she was in the comics. Because in the comics, she was just another nameless villain. So there's not really much you could do with her. In this TV show, we can all admit, the original animated show, um, <laughs> she actually had a character to her. So I would have it that, yeah, it's a teen girl, but... The origin would be that she was kind as she was a... And again, I'd have to change this because, again, Dakota... The Dakota-verse is going to be its own thing soon, apparently. But yeah, originally I had this idea that she was from Dakota and actually went to the same school as Virgil, and she was a bang baby. She basically got her power. She's a metahuman, not so much supernatural, but she was given her powers from the, uh, from the Big Bang event. But... Yeah, I'd have to rework that a bit, but still, still, that would be um, that would be how I would go. Is that this Jinx has been locked up? Waller caught her to experiment her uh, experiment on her to discover the whole origin of Bang Babies and how to combat them. And she's been locked up in like a secret facility in Argus's control. And Mister Terrific goes, "I can help you. You know, join my team, and I'll help you reverse the, your powers. I can help you go back into society." And Jinx is like, no, I just want to kick some ass. And he's like, I can do that too. Um, in terms of other characters that would be on this team would be uh, Clayface, you know, Basil Carlo. And Terrific would basically have Carlo, like I said, they wouldn't have bombs, and I doubt a bomb would actually work on Clayface. But the idea that how I would, how I would have the Terrific gets uh, Clayface on his suicide squad is that he basically says, look, I'm the third smartest man. I've got tons of connections now in the government and with tons of other scientists um, committed, you know, scientist groups. I can help you find to be human again. Yeah, I can help you be human again. And of course, Basil, Car you know, uh, Basil would go, fuck yeah. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember who else would be on this team, but Jinx and Clayface were kind of like the first two characters I really wanted on this team. Uh, Giganta was another one. Um, just to, uh, um, Giganta was a, was one, and I'm forgetting the others. But yeah, the whole thing would be is that yeah, their whole first mission would be hunt down Waller, stop her Suicide Squad, and put her behind bars, and then it would kind of go from there. So that's kind of my so that's pretty much my idea in a nutshell, guys. That is pretty much my idea for my take on my if I could do my own take on Suicide Squad. Uh, post rebirth this would be my idea so you guys tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of the suicide squad idea do you guys like it do you guys hate it what do you guys think of mr terrific being the head of argus and who would you want to see on the suicide squad team in you know in terms of in-universe villains and anti-heroes just uh comment below let me know and once again hope you all enjoyed this and i will see you guys later